Hello, everyone. I'm Michiko Inoue of the Tori University. I'd like to talk to you about subjective scores and the case distribution in personality evaluations. Let's consider a female shopper exploring an apparel shopping website to purchase clothing to wear at the office. A female shopper concerned about what impression her clothing will give to observers. We consider a female shopper is imagining herself wearing what the subject in the images were wearing. For example, the observer perceives the subject wearing a coat is probably sincere or the subject wearing the dress is maybe sincere. We assumed the observers one were unfamiliar with the subject. The most important impressions will change depending on individual context. In context one, Physical appearance is relevant to the impressions formed of employees interacting with the public face to face, such as retail clerks or usher at trade shows. In context two, personality traits, such as sincerity and nervousness, are relevant to the impressions formed of engineers in IT companies or of human resource personnel. Our target is context too. We investigated sincerity and nervousness as a component of one of the big five personality traits. Our aim was to measure a subjective sincerity score and a subjective nervousness score. Perceptions of other's sincerity and nervousness change depending on many subjective elements, such as their hairstyle, facial expressions, and clothing. We focus on subject, subjects are wearing clothing. For working or for working in an IT office, the existing study was reported work clothing affects perceived personality traits. However, they used only a text-based questionnaire for analysis. No researcher has yet examined whether what people are wearing in images affects other the sincerity and nervousness of them. We investigated the main hypothesis and the sub-hypothesis. In the main hypothesis, observers' subjective scores for a subject's sincerity and nervousness will change depending on what the subject is wearing. We evaluated whether observers viewed subject's clothes while making their assessment. It's generally well known, and observers' keys tend to fixate on the subject's head for a long duration. In the sub-hypothesis, observers will gaze at a subject's clothing, as well as their head, while making assessments about the subject's sincerity and nervousness. We selected stimulus images from a multiple clothing dataset. We used only images of women in which the entire body was included. We used only clothing category levels belonging to world body items. Comparison conditions are coat, dress, and sleepwear. Coat is worn 
when commuting to workplace such as IT companies frequently. Dress is formed by sales clerks at workplace such as retail department stores. Sleepwear is simply comparison with the other clothing categories. These are examples of stimulus images, coat, dress, and sleepwear. They used only the frontal orientation of the subject's body. Each subject appeared in multiple images and wore different clothes in each. The number of stimulus images for each clothing category was 24, and the total number of stimulus images was 72. Twenty-four observers participated. 13 men and 11 women. We displayed the stimulus image at a random position on the screen to avoid center wires. Each observer viewed 24 stimulus images selected randomly from the repository of 72 stimulus images. We used a case point ZP3 eye tracker device to measure eye movement. The display size was 24 inches. The sampling rate was 150 hertz. We asked the observers the questions for each stimulus image. Question one, how sincere do you perceive the subject to be? Question two, how nervous do you perceive the subject to be? The observers gave the subjective ranking rating for each image on a four point scale, ranging from zero to three. The higher the score, the more sincere or nervous the observer perceived the subject to be. We used the procedure to measure observer score for the questions. In the step one, we set question one or question two. In the step two, we displayed the stimulus image for eight seconds while measuring the gaze movement. In the step three, the observer answered the question properly. We show results for the main hypothesis. The vertical axis represents subjective scores. The horizontal represents closing categories. The left one is sincere score. The right one is nervous score. It's clear the subjective scores for code were highest and the choice for sleepwear were lowest for both questions. We checked for significant differences in the subjective scores between the closing categories using for multiple comparisons. Results showed significant differences in subjective scores among all the closing categories for both questions. We believe the main hypothesis is valid. To investigate the sub-hypothesis, we measured the body part attention probability to validate where the observer is fixated. This is an example of body part attention probability. The vertical axis is frequency of gaze. The horizontal axis is each body part. We used 12 body parts. The body part attention probability indicated 
how long an observer viewed which of the subject's body parts in the stimulus image during gaze measurement. This allowed us to directly compare the body part attention probability among all the stimulus images containing a variety of subject postures. Please show the body part attention probability for the sub hypothesis. These one are sincere questions per probabilities. These one are nervous questions probabilities. The vertical axis represents the frequency of the body part attention probability. This one is for cold. This one is for dress. This one is for sleepwear. The region containing all the body parts except for the nose corresponds to the closing region. The observer's gaze were fixed on the subject's head region for the most prolonged time duration and on the subject's closing regions for the remaining time. We believe the sub-hypothesis supported. We further evaluated observers' responses to the subject's head regions and the closing regions were alternately either visible or not visible. Stimulus image conditions are broad body, torso and legs, and the head. In the broad body, the subject's broad body is visible. In the torso and legs, the top 20% of the stimulus images is hidden with the background color. In the head, the lower 80% of the stimulus image is hidden with the background color. The exper experimental conditions were the same as those explained in previous conditions. We show results for the subjective assessment of sincere. The vertical axis represents subjective scores. The horizontal represents closing categories. The left one is the world body score. The middle one is the torso and leg score. The right one is the head score. A comparison of the world body and the torso and legs showed the ranking order of the subjective scores for cut, dress, and sleepwear was the same. A comparison of the world body and the head showed the ranking order of the subjective scores for closing categories, cut, dress, and sleepwear differed. We show results for the subjective assessment of nervous. The left one is the world body score. The middle one is torso and leg score. The right one is the head score. We found the subjective scores results of nervous is the same as one of sincere. The stimulus images containing the sub subjects, the torso and legs, representing the closing region, significantly affected the observer's subjective scores compared with those containing only the subject's head region. This is my conclusion. That's all. Thank you for your attention.